Trump or Biden? That's like a dumbass question. Trump or Biden? If you say Trump, you would. Your mama gonna fall down the flight of stairs. Biden. Why? So you racist? I'm not racist. I'm just hey, wondering why. Right now. <laughs> I'm not down for that. Trump or Biden? You mean cruelty versus kindness? Yeah. There you go. So you, you go with Biden? You have to. Uh, it's a very obvious answer. Trump. Why? Biden has destroyed our economy. You look at the gas prices, the border, inflation. A lot of liberals like to have arguments based on emotion, right? Oh, you're done? Yeah, man, because you're just telling me somebody else's opinion. You're just parroting some fucking bullshit. Wait, what the hell do you know about it, the economy? Was inflation at a 40-year high where gas prices up 200%? When he became president, who does that say? No, he showed up with it. Six months ago, brother. Inflation was at 8.6%. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry to say. But good luck. And, uh, you know, keep that toxic massage you going? Trump or Biden? Biden. Biden, why? Because I don't like Trump. <laughs> what are some of the bad things he did? He's just racist and just like a shitty person overall. <laughs> Could you give me like maybe one or two examples of Trump being racist? Um, I can't really think of shit right now, but I know he's done some racist shit. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back, and thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? So, Miss Crazy E. Jean Carroll has been awarded $83 million by this frivolous lawsuit, and she is already gloating. She's already cashing out and see what she's going to spend her money with and how she's going to do what. And, you know, show up women's rights and how she going to help women, right? Let's show a clip of Rachel Madcow on MSNBC and let's see her response. Talked about using some of Trump's money that you're about to get um, to help shore up women's rights. Do you know what that might be, what that might look like? Yes, or Rachel. Yes. Tell me. I had such a... Such great ideas for all the good I'm going to do with this money. First thing, Rachel, you and I are going to go shop. We're going to get completely <laughs> new wardrobes, new shoes, motorcycle for Crowley, new fishing rod for Robbie. Rachel, what do you want? Penthouse? <laughs> it's yours, Nothing. Rachel. Penthouse and uh, France? You want France? Unbelievable. Nope, she's not joking. She's not joking. She's dead ass serious. Even her lawyers had to say she's joking you want to go fishing nope. in france no oh. all right all right okay that's a joke all right okay that's a joke why are you sitting there laughing uncomfortably because she knows everybody knows she's crazy and that's what it's all about trump did not want to accept the verdict and kept saying it did not happen and this girl is crazy <laughs> Although if if me fishing in France could yeah. do something for women's rights, I would take the hit. You know, I would obviously uh, take one. And here's a taste of it. Here's a taste of it. She's something of what eighty years old, talking about she's gonna go shopping and buy shoes, and you can get a motorcycle, and you can get a car, and we're gonna get an apartment in Paris. All this fantasies, all this daydreaming of money that she's not gonna get. It's corruption. New York is corrupted. And all this, all this, the jury was all Democrats. The judge was Democrat appointed. All that to get Trump. All that to hit, drain his pockets. Because everybody know he campaigns his own with his own money. They're trying to drain his pockets. But they see that Biden can't do this. Biden cannot go campaigning. That's why Biden's asking uh, um, Obama 
and Clinton to campaign for him because he can't do it. He can't draw no money up. It's so bad that he got, he's asking Taylor Swift or endorsement because Taylor Swift got all the Gen Z women and they'll follow whatever she says. So if she says, yes, I'm a, I'm going for Joe. That's what he's going to go for. All the youth vote is going to follow Taylor Swift. And that's what he's trying to bank on. Pathetic. He don't have no, no, um, foreign policy is corrupted. His foreign policy is a mess. We going to three wars right now. We have wars breaking out all over. Today, they announced Joe Biden may be announcing taking action tonight against Iran. Oh, great. You know, Joe Biden's going to be at the helm. You wouldn't get in an Uber if it was driven by Joe Biden. Three wars. We just had the latest three servicemen from Georgia. Wow. And they happen to be black. Two females and a male, black soldiers, who were killed by drone from Iran. And here come Joe. Talk about he's going to retaliate. Shut up. You're not going to do nothing. Shut up. We see how tough you are, Joe. When uh your first week in office, you tuck tail and haul at us out of Afghanistan and left all our equipment back there. They using the same equipment against us. So you ain't gonna do nothing. We got Ukraine, we have Israel, we have Taiwan, and we have um Iran knocking on the doors right now. And don't forget the invasion at the southern border. So Biden, you're not gonna do nothing. Shut up. You're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. Again, President Biden said he's ready to take action if Congress is serious about solving the border issue. If that bill were the law today, I'd shut down the border right now and fix it quickly. And Congress needs to get it done. Starting another fucking war. <laughs> and yeah, this is the guy y'all gonna vote for again. This is the guy y'all really trust. No. Anyway, you got any value of my content? Do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get off my lawn.